Hey Pirates, I'm Steven Thompson. And I'm Mackenzie Keiko. And you're, and you're watching, watching Pirate, Pirate TV. TV. Hear about the Special Olympics this past Friday? Yeah, I heard they did awesome and represented Corinth holders very well. Well then, let's check out the clip. Wow, it looks like they had a blast. Did you know TSA also did pretty good at Stasis this past weekend? Let's go to Zach and see how they did. On Sunday, our Corinth Holders TSA chapter went to their state competition, where they competed in events like 2D CAD, digital video production, on-demand video, photographic technology, VEX robotics, children's stories, and music production. Along the way, our own Anthony Moretti competed in three events, 2D CAD, digital video production, and on-demand video. During on-demand competition, we had 24 hours to produce a one minute long max video based on a given prompt, which was supposed to be a public service announcement, and included the line of dialogue. Unfortunately, my goldfish wasn't as lucky and didn't survive, and had to include the props of a pen, toothbrush, and a cell phone. This is what we came up with. This past weekend, my TSA chapter went to our state competition, but as excited as we were, we knew there'd be stress. Our competitions left us scrambling for time. We dashed from competition to competition. We were utterly unorganized, stressed, and exhausted. Fortunately, our hard work had paid off, and we had placed well in our competitions. But unfortunately, my goldfish wasn't as lucky and didn't survive. At that moment, we realized the chaos that we had been trapped in. We had fought and argued all weekend, and had forgotten why we were really there. After that weekend, I had learned my lesson. I needed to slow down. We all did. Life is too short to be constantly running around. We can't forget about the little things that matter whether it's a goldfish or our friendships. Although we did not place this year, we learned many new techniques in video production and also how to handle a team and delegate roles throughout the entire process. So we wish congrats to Anthony on his second place win in 2D CAD. Good luck at Nationals in June in Atlanta, Georgia. Great job, everyone. Last Friday, the school held our annual prom. Now let's go and see how everyone spent prom night. So what did you think of your last prom? Um, I thought the last prom was a really fun way for all the seniors to get together and kind of have one last time and experience for all of us to just spend time together. I thought it was very fun. I mean, I thought it was a good time. I got to see a lot of people I haven't seen in a while and pretty much danced all night. So. My last prom was definitely one for the books. Uh, just had a good time getting, getting it, dancing with my friends and hanging out and doing my thing. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't go last year, so it was actually my only prom, but I had a lot of fun. Would you both recommend prom to the underclassmen? Of course! You have to go to prom at least, at least once, either your junior or senior year. Yeah, I think it's a good experience, and it's, you know, one night to <laughs> dress up. You wear fancy dresses and eat good food. I mean, like, <laughs> something wrong about that. Yeah. yeah, prom's fun. Prom's something that you should do in high school. I mean, yeah, you only get like two chances to do it, so go for it. Would you definitely recommend prom for underclassmen? Yep. Would definitely recommend it to the underclassmen. Prom is what you make of it, so go out there and have a good time. Looks fun. Too bad I couldn't go. Our lacrosse team is having their last game soon. Let's go with Rory and get pumped up for their final game.
Hey Pirates, welcome to Pirates Sports Center. The baseball team who just recently played against the Knights had an outstanding night with a 12-2 win, with Connor Bass and Tyler Stefano having a great night with a combined 87 pitches. They play against Rollsville tonight at 7, so good luck to them. The Lady Pirates soccer team in their last match against Rollsville won 3-1, and that was the last home game of the season, wrapping up the seniors' last season in a positive way. Lacrosse currently sitting at 4th on the ladder, and they play against a struggling Rollsville team who sits at 1-12. They play on the 27th at 6. Softball, who sits at 4th in the standings, play against Rollsville on the 26th, who currently sits at 9-5. and five. Key players to look out for is Savannah Goad cortez and Brooke Davis. The track team leaves on the 28th to run in the 4A NAC tournament for playoffs. But that's all we have for this week on Pirate Sports Center and as well for Pirate TV. We'll see you guys next week. Hey Pirates, this year's coming to a close and that means the sports are also wrapping up. Our lacrosse team is going to be having their final game of their first season this Friday, the 27th at 6 at home. And that means we're going to be sending off our seniors like Gavin Brackman, Michael Rodriguez, and Cooper Nightingale. This is going to be their final high school lacrosse game, so be sure to show up and show your support. Again, that's Friday the 27th at 6 at home. Be there. No doubt they'll wipe the floor with the other team. Let's give our lacrosse team and everyone else some inspiration with Mr. Daniel's Dodd the Week. Mr. Daniel's thought of the week is, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. What do you think that means? If you don't have any challenges in your life, you won't make mistakes from them and then learn from them. If you want to achieve something in life, you have to work hard to get it. If it's not hard, you won't get better at it. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. It means, like, if you're not, if you're out of your comfort zone, it's a good thing and take it out of your comfort zone more. Um, I think what it means is like if you continue to do things that are uh, not challenging, then you will never get better at like uh, doing other things. So to continue to be easy and you really will get no challenge out of doing uh, the easy things. And that's all for this week's episode of Pirate TV. We'll be back next week. Go, Go Pirates! Pirates. Drink. What? Where's the door hole? It goes right there, see? I drew it with the magic marker. You were supposed to cut it off the power saw. Dude, I'm gonna! Oh, really? Yes! So get the power song! Okay, I will! I see the problem. Oh, do ya!